An East Tampa grandmother is sitting right now, perhaps watching this very newscast in what is essentially a brand new home, all thanks to WWE superstar Titus O'Neil. She met him at his Joy of Giving event during the holidays, and today she realized just how far that giving goes. She called me crying Monday. Thaddeus Bullard, known in the WWE world as Titus O'Neil, took on a titanic job this week, completely redoing the inside of a Bay Area woman's home. I told him I, I want to do a really special project. Uh, we can combine it with uh, Black, uh, Black History Month. Through his Bullard Foundation and its partners, he transformed 75-year-old Yvonne McCoy's East Tampa home, a home where she is raising her 10-year-old granddaughter Jada and shares with a son and a grandson. He took the modest 1,200 square foot abode and gave it a 2021 flavor. New furniture, a new kitchen with granite countertops, new appliances, new bathroom, TVs, even installed central heat and air. Everything. Keep this up and I might have a makeover, home makeover show here soon. Everything that is except this, a wall of family photos. He left that just the way it was. And then Valentine's morning, a tremendous show of love. She saw for the first time her new home, touring the house, simply in awe of everything that had been done. I can't describe it. My heart is heavy right now. She I mean, changed in her life. She changed my life, too. <laughs> However, the surprises did not end there. We ought to be able to get you to doctor's appointments and stuff for Jada and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So, that should be all right. <laughs> Yes, a new Chevy Malibu to replace her old, unreliable van. I'm dumbfounded right now. It's a final surprise for a woman who friends say always gives to others. I'm in this position because people invested in me when they had nothing to gain in return. From a man who does the same. And while the house was being renovated, Ms. McCoy and her granddaughter Jada stayed at a hotel. They were taken care of completely, even having food delivered every single day. And the irony in that is she had never stayed in a hotel before, although she worked for one for nearly two decades.